Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Marine Gun Builder Live. I am your host, Marine Gun Builder. It is Friday night, and today, ladies and gentlemen, people from around the world, our wonderful federal agents, welcome to a night of gun building with the best gun builders in the nation, north, south, east, and west. This is a huge live, and it is a collaborative live. And it is the first live where all of the godfathers of building have come together under one platform to bring tonight's special, special announcement. I know a lot of you already heard about Freedom Crew University, but tonight marks the official launch where every builder across the nation gets to interact with all of the chief instructors. So without further ado, I'm going to bring them up one by one as we get into the future of gun building tonight. And first on the docket is the man, Tactical Trash Panda. Hello, sir. How are you doing tonight? Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining in. How's everything yeah. going, Mr. MGB, the godfather of building? Wow, we're all the godfathers, right? <laughs> we're, all, we're all together. Um, so Panda's going to be doing 1022. He's going to be doing Glock. Man, I'm excited. Are you? I'm excited, too. I know. I've been on your channel. You've been on mine, but we're all together tonight. All right. You ready to bring up some of our other big figures in the industry? Always. always. All right. Willie Will. He needs no introduction. Renowned gun stiveler, Will from Shogun Customs. What's up, handsome? Oh, get out of here. <laughs> I am out of here, literally. I haven't had here since I was 17. Oh, that's all you. All you and Panda, man. You guys killing the cameras. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got these nice beards except me. I'm going to have to grow one out. What's up, man? Yeah, man. Doing doing good. Doing good. Excited. Excited about tonight. Still trying to get my YouTube live going, but you know, we're doing good. Uh, just tell your fam, we're on Panda's channel. We're on the crew channel. We're on the uh, Marine we're Gun Builder channel. And can we bring up the next guy? We're all over the place. That's it. We're on Sarge. Sarge's channel. What's up, Angry Sarge? What's up, guys? Happy to be here. You all ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm more ready. than ready. I know this is exciting. This is a different show for us. So this. I, I don't know how we're going to fit all nine of us on the screen at the same time, but we're going to see how this shit goes down. All right. <laughs> all right. Now, next guy. Next guy needs no introduction at all. Everybody knows your boy. P80 Ralph, what's up, my man? <laughs> it's your boy, P80 Ralph, up in the house. Thank you all for tuning in and hanging out with us on this Friday night. Yeah. So as you know, Ralph doesn't have a channel, but he has all of our channels instead, right? He's got them all. He's got every channel here. All right, Ralphie. I don't know if they're ready for the next one, Ralph. They ready for this next guy? I don't think they're ready. I, I mean, you want to talk about the godfather of a building. You want to talk about the guy who's been grinding, grinding for years in this business, making it happen, educating patriots on almost every platform possible, and another chief instructor at Freedom Crew University. Give it up for the one and the only, the rogue banshee up in here. What's up, my Ooh. man? Well, I, yeah, I we need one of those machines. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. so we're gonna get DLD up here for the machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, man, this is this is just freaking awesome having all of us on tonight. I mean, this is this is like, I mean, uh, the world's gonna stop spinning tonight. Just from all of us being <laughs> yeah, right. <here>. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is this is a Fed's dream. It's a oh fan. yeah, totally. You got they got all of us. At, they have all of us at one place at one time. That just never happens. I know, <laughs> I know. And can I tell you what I thought the best business plan for any patriot out there to get into is? I think this is the best business plan. Any one of you want to make millions of dollars? You've got to start for just patriots a dog insurance program. Yeah, the there, yeah. that's all you need, right? <laughs> Yeah, you you it goes with your CCP, uh, your carry geez. insurance. You get dog protection insurance. You'd be all set. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Next on the docket. Oh, I, they're just not ready for this gentleman. This gentleman is one of the brightest people uh, in our printing industry. And can we all please give it up for the boom? 
That's the bench he's still doing. What's up, Shawnee? How we do this? It's like the rock star just entered the stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was uh, either the gold standards uh, <laughs> or the Americas. Uh, I couldn't decide, but I figured we're all gold standards here, and that's what we like. That's it, baby doll. All right. Up next, Barry Manilow on the mic. <laughs> we all know him. He talks to you three times a week in that sweet voice. Tells you to be kind and lovable. You just want to give him a big tear, Betty. Oh, give him a big hug. But don't <laughs> let him show you his sack in Vegas. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, oh what's man, up, what's up, y'all? Hey, good to see y'all, man. Lord. Lord. This is this is this is a Fed's wet drink. Look at this. This is beautiful. I had to I had to do a, a double take on my background to make sure there was nothing uh, identifiable about me here. <laughs> is this recording? Is this thing on? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Good to see y'all, man, and good to see all the viewers out there, man. But this is this is excellent, man. Thank you for having me. You're welcome, Chief Instructor DLD. All right, Chief Instructor. Chief Instructor. Channel members, we ready to introduce the last man. Huh? The last man on the stage, the last godfather of gun building on the stage. Everybody give it up for Flying Rich. What's up, Rich? Thank you, gentlemen. I never thought I'd be on a live stream with Marine Gun Builder. This this is like a dream come true. We've never you know, been on a live I, I stream before together. I, I don't think you and I. I no. No, oh, no, but we've been like this for the past stream like yard weeks, but we've never done an actual yeah. YouTube live, is what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we need to make that happen. Mm -hmm. It is happening. Well, it's happening now. <laughs> All right. And it, it's <laughs> nice to be in a room with such talented gentlemen. I mean, what guys, I'm looking yeah. around and where's, people where's that gentleman? know a lot of ish about gun building. So <laughs> yeah. I'm in good company here. <laughs> Yep. Yes. We have the Brady Bunch of gun builders here. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We got to do this and play Hollywood Squares. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, uh, Dark. Dark. You're Fistball. the youngest one in curls. Wrong way. Wrong way. Panda. 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 My image is mirrored. <laughs> hey, Ralph's got an easy program. He's got everybody <laughs> all around. <him. laughs> we got a huge oh, night of gun building. So look, let's start with a couple of things, okay? As we all know, folks, the bridge frame is dropped. It's been shipped. People are getting them on their doorstep. So who wants to talk about the bridge frame first? The new Polymer 80 bridge frame. Who's up? I mean, whoever you want to take it. Dark is going to take it. Dark, All right, ladies and gentlemen, us on the new Polymer 80 bridge frame. What's new? What's different? What can people expect? Yeah, so a couple of things. Um, first, I want to take a second to, to, to honor Polymer 80 because we have to recognize that on December the 27th at like 3 34 p.m., uh, the ATF dropped a bomb, not legislation, not an act of Congress. They dropped a bomb that said, Oh, yeah, y'all can't y'all can't do this whole frame thing anymore. Right after we've gone through three months of separating the frame and jig, and it's just been a, you know, it was a huge bomb that they dropped. And then uh, within about 14 days of that happening, Polymer 80 already came out with a solution, and it was their new bridge frame, which is, in, in my eyes and in you know most of our eyes, it, it's it's freedom fighting, right? They had a new frame that is still unserialized, shipped directly to your door. You can buy your jig separately. Of course, I know a place. Um, and then uh, uh, we can talk more about that later. But uh, it's just a little bit more material to remove out of the trigger housing area in the back. And then a little bit more material in the front LBRS system. And uh, boom, you got yourself in uh, unserialized polymer 80. And then there's also one more pin that you have to drill. But, uh, you know, um, I'll let MGB, if you, if you want me to drop that, let me, let me know. <laughs> Well, I I guess you know you got to be a master driller. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> master driller. a big master driller. All right. So look, huge news, right? New Polymer eighty hitting the market, ATF compliant, right? Yeah. So even if this new rule sticks around 
and for some god unknown reason, they are a way to get away with all their behavior. And even if the courts take a long time to decide on that frame and receiver, all that doesn't matter because it's yeah. legit now, <laughs> right? It's mm -hmm. compliant now, which is a huge deal. There will be no more interruption. So, you know, I felt like there was this long, you know, six weeks, <laughs> you know, where, where people were just like, are we ever going to be able to do this again? It's like, yep, yep. And, and they were prepared, you know, I mean, big ups to Palmer 80 always being way ahead of the game, you know, um, they obviously didn't create it in just two weeks before they went to SHOT Show, right? Like that. They didn't create it yeah. in a month. They were planning, what if this was going to go this way and let's be compliant now? So they were very forward thinking as they've always been, okay, yeah. uh, and were prepared for it to drop either way. Now, I, I was on DLD stream last night and we were kind of chit-chatting and we said, Look, guys, obviously there's a little more work here, which we don't mind. We love to push our limits, right? But if it, it, they get the injunction rather quick, they'll probably go back to the other ones because it's just less work in the meantime. And that means that this run that's dropping right now is going to be a very limited edition run. This bridge frame is going to be very limited edition. So, you know, I don't know, you know, as a as a collector enthusiast, I'm I'm. I'm hoping for that as well. <laughs> so if anybody out there has ever been like, man, I wish I had a strike gate. Man, I wish I had a white blah blah. Man, I wish I had a CL. Man, here's your chance. We are telling you in advance that one day people are going to yeah. be like, man, I wish I had a bridge frame. So just saying, just saying. Right. <laughs> and so let's let's talk about our Freedom Crew University uh, a little bit. Uh, we'll kind of maybe go around the table here tell everybody what you're the chief instructor of, what programs you're going to be doing, uh, and we'll just jump one-to-one. -one. And so, Panda, why don't you lead that off? All right, well, I'll be instructing Glock building, Glock assembly, and also the Ruger 1022 builds. So if you're interested in those, come check us out. The Brownells, man, of course. I am, man. BLP. Right. Yeah, that's it, baby. All right, Angry Sarge, man, what's your role here in the university? So it's kind of twofold, but most of mine have has been kind of around the marketing. We've been working on ads and stuff like that. So some of the stuff that you see us sharing on Instagram or elsewhere is kind of products of of, of mine and my my nerd, should I say? Yeah. And uh, beyond that, I. I am a chief instructor. I will be doing Glocks. I want to get into the SIG side of the house, so I'm going to learn that as fast as I can so I can push that out. But um, ARs, maintenance, things like that, I'll be I'll be touching base, but probably mostly privates or and filling in if we get an overload. Right. You're going to be right. touching oh. privates? Fill yeah, in here we go. He likes <laughs> feet. You know he likes feet. You know he's got the foot thing going. He is a yep. foot man. <laughs> he loves his feet. Yeah. <laughs> we are all very skilled at filling in privates. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, so you know, this is actually the first time we've been live. As 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 Rich said, like I was live with him. But we get together every week uh, as instructors, sometimes multiple times a week. Uh, and we do this and we talk and we plan curriculum and we work together in a collaborative nature to bring the build community forward, right? So bringing the best mind, that's the whole idea behind it. Bring the best minds and the best gun building um, uh, people together in order to create the best curriculum for the community. And uh, unfortunately, in our next meeting, it is my turn to be ripped on. So everybody's had their turn, except for me and Rich, but I think I'm next, I'm, I'm, I'm next in line. All right, thank you, Mr. Sarge. Will. Will, you got to talk about this great program you got, man. You've got to talk about taking people down the, the path of the stippling journey. Yeah, my pleasure, man. So, you know, stippling is very, very deep. It's not just putting a wood burner to polymer, melting it, and calling it a day. It's not just taking a drum to your undercuts and saying, oh, that looks good. Right. I mean, oh, I can get higher up on the frame. I mean, it goes a lot further than that. 
you know, without going too far and taking up everybody else's time, I had a pretty, you know, decent journey on how, you know, trying to figure, trying to figure out how to do all of this stuff. I didn't know what kind of bits to use. You know, half the battle is using the right tools and nobody wants to tell you what tools they use. You have to just suffer. So I'm teaching the stippling here on three different levels, beginner, intermediate, advanced, also doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, private mentorship programs. So look, if you're somebody who just wants to work on your own frame, come to the beginner class. You'll know everything you need to know to work on your own frames, right? You're not charging money yet. Get to my intermediate class, you could probably start charging some money because now you're going to learn some finer details and all the inner workings of the entire frame. Now, if you get my advanced class, that's a three-day class. If you finish my advanced class, obviously you have some innate skill, right? Everyone has their, <laughs> their skill level. But I will take you as far as I can take you. And you know what? Let me tell you, you'll know everything that I know. And you can even start your own business stippling just like me. I mean, I started from the bottom and now you know, we're here. Yeah, not, now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not knowing a damn thing, having to pick everybody's brain, beg for information in forums and, and Facebook groups and freaking kiss ass. Listen, I got your back. I will show you. <laughs> That's it. All right, bro. Thank you, man. Okay. Um and I mean, I, I just I got to take a second here and we, we got to see if we can get his uh, his gallery up so you guys can get some inspiration. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where's where's the Shogun gallery? Woo! Yeah, don't let Woo! him uh, be too humble, man. Oh, yeah. He is there you go. fire. <laughs> There's some gun porn right there. Right. Mm -hmm. but, uh, let's 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 go through this gallery a little bit. We bring this up full screen. Can I solo this? That's a beautiful no. work. All right. Let's go through. Wow. Look at those borders, bro. God, look at that. Yeah, isn't it awesome? He's got some. He's got some great work. You guys are <laughs> stop. For real, man, it's mm. something to be celebrated. You just you don't see that. How like, do you do that man. different color outline? Is that? Oh, the, dude. That speaking of secrets, oh, that. that's one of the secrets I had to. Actually, you know what? No one actually gave me the answer. Even my friend who stipples was like, I'm going to let you figure it out on your own first. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's a simple color fill pen, man. So Cerakote sells this color fill pen. Oh. It's gravity fed. You put probably probably about five or six drops of paint in there, and it and you just run it through the border, man. It's super simple, but it's very guarded. Where, it, where was that when I was doing Cerakote work, man? I had, a, I had, I had the old school... Um, color fill where you had a you had to spray your color fill on, then fill it with clay, then do your thing, and then dig the clay oh, out. Dude, that I was mean, the old I, school. And I'm like, they came out with this color fill pen. I'm like, well, figures. Are, like, I stopped doing this three years ago. <laughs> I, Banshee's I, so I, old, I, he probably had the uh, like the Ghostbusters backpack Cerakote and stuff. You know, <laughs> I did. I did. you're just dude. You're, you're so jealous about that, aren't you? I am. I am, I am. that one go. It's it's experience, y'all. Hey, see, there he is. So you guys know I'm not bullshit. And look in the comments, Joshua Joshua McCabe. Sorry, bro, I couldn't share that yeah. with you, but you figured yeah. it out. That's awesome. Because somebody yeah. had showed, somebody had taught him and said, "Hey, man, look, don't teach anybody this." So he kept his word. I respect that, <laughs> you know. But I figured it out, dude. Look mm, at that. Look at look that. that. I, I gotta That's say, cool. Will's work. Will's work is so beautiful that it makes you want to get two frames stippled by him. <laughs> One to yeah. keep in the safe as a safe queen, and the other one to work at out the range and scratch up and mar up and all that kind of beautiful things. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a specific tip that you use to get that nice pattern right there? Yeah, man. All my textures are exclusive to me, man. Um, I have maybe maybe two textures actually that we all kind of use in the industry, but I have over a dozen exclusive um, tips to. To Shogun Custom, so nice. yeah. want that design, you got to come to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. get to learn it. Yeah, oh right? yeah, yeah. yeah. To learn so it. that's the thing. When he was on my podcast, we were talking. I go, the greatest thing about his name is Shogun Customs because it's your show gun. Yeah, show piece. All right. Right. Yeah. You want to show right. that thing off when you're done yeah. when he gets done with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice little play because really, it's yeah. it's that whole martial arts background. Right, like right. that's where it originally came from, right? Yeah. But he's got a good point. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. So, you know, when I was Mad Monk Customs, 
you know, and I think some of you know this, I was sitting and I was thinking of my, my, one of my old favorite movies, Shogun, uh, Shogun Assassin. And I was like, whoa, it's a Shogun. I was like, oh, and a samurai theme. Cause you know, all my stuff's always been martial arts, Eastern based, you know, hence the mad monk philosophy and, you know, or mad monk customs. But uh, yeah, man. Yeah. So I like that it has a few different meanings, you know? Shogun, if you want the best compliment ever, People are asking if your stippling is laser. I've been asked that a few times. It is not lasered, everybody. It's, it's by hand. Um, yeah. but, to, but I do plan to get a laser at some point. Uh, nice. Yeah, thank you. No, it's all by hand. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, if you talk to him, he'll let you know that he likes to make sure that the, the weapons – and your hands like melt together. So he's definitely all about touching his weapons with his hands. The <laughs> weapons and the warrior become yep. one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are killing me, man. Hey, I almost, man, I, I almost want to unpublish that video now. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't unpublish it from up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the university team. I know, I know. Shit, man. But it's true. But no, you know what it is, though, guys? Yeah, well, obviously, we rip on each other all the time. But the reality is, is this is passion, right? This is passion. And, yep, yep. you know, these are the people that you want to learn from, right? These are the people, you know, if I'm going to learn stippling, I want to learn from a guy that just he, he absorbs this, lives it, he breathes it, you know, and he wants to teach others, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, it's great that we we always have, you know, people that will come in and, uh, show their appreciation because one of the greatest things as any type of instructor is when you have students that outgrow you. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, they yeah. become better than you and they pass you. But more importantly, they take the gift and go educate others. Like we were talking about martial arts here. So, you know, Will and I are both really into martial arts. And one of the things I have been saying, I'm 47 years old, been doing it since nine. Okay, it's been a long time. And I can tell you one thing that I've learned in these decades of doing martial arts is that you can find really great black belts out there as far as fighters are concerned, um, but they're terrible teachers. And then you find people that, you know, can just teach you how to throw kick. Like I, I, I've, I've literally had students that were yellow belts that were able to teach a new student, you know, a basic front kick better than a master black belt could because they, they didn't have the teaching ability. They didn't have the passion for that. They only wanted to do it for themselves, right? It and so mm -hmm. when you have that mix, and, and, you know, I think that's what's so strong about this room is we're all driven to, to educate the next generation of patriots. We understand that that is a mission and a purpose that serves above everything else right now. Um, and if you missed the stream last night on DLD's channel, I, I encourage everybody to go watch that later on because we had a fantastic talk of exactly how we win um, this fight for our rights. And it's not in courts. It's not the Supreme Court. It's none of that stuff. It is all of us working together collaboratively to go out and bring a new generation of patriots in who will stand for their rights uh, as time moves forward. And it's only going to get harder for them, right? Preach. Right. So, <laughs> and so it starts with the people with a bunch of passion, which is why we have the university, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure that everybody knows that's watching. So let me just say it now. Uh, obviously, you know, all of us on here, uh, we don't have content on YouTube uh, anymore, really specifically to the actual building of firearms, okay? Um, obviously, that's not by choice. I'm not able to do that anymore. In, even in the things where in the past we were complying um, to their requests, they they just change the po the, the goal, you know, the, the end zone every two minutes on us. And so what we thought we were complying to or not, we can never get clear answers anymore on whether this is compliant or not. It's just not. Right. We just decided it's not. Um, and now they're at the point where they're like, you show any type of modification, we can pull it down at will. And, you know, it's it, that like includes putting sites on a slide. Like we don't even know if we can do that, but that would be considered a modification. And they're, you know, under their terms, we would we would get removed. So moving forward, 
a big thing for all of us was coming together and say, how do we continue education uninterrupted? Because uh, I'll speak for myself on this, but I'll let you all chime in. I think one of the most difficult things about publishing to YouTube when it comes to gun building, e even before all of this, another gun apocalypse that just happened was how do we, like I would spend time editing to try to conform and fit to a YouTube policy. And it was like, I was removing things that I really wanted to show, but I know if I show it, the video will get pulled. Like there was one of the biggest pain in the asses because you knew that comments were going to come in. were like, well, you know, MGB, how did I do this? So MGB, how did you get to that? And it's like, Oh, you got to come offline. You got to come here. You got to see me there. I can't do that on YouTube. It was such a pain as a content creator. And I think one of the biggest things about the university is, is there's no hold, no holding back anymore, right? We don't have to. We can just teach exactly what we need to teach without worrying about all the restrictions and the constraints uh, that these social media platforms. Are. Freedom. <laughs> yeah, freedom, David. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's a spe it's a special platform, honestly, and uh, you know we're we're all all honored to be a part of it. Um, it it's there's it, it's like a, a revolutionary platform for the gun industry, in my opinion. You know, nobody is doing something like this. You yeah. know, at least for the gun industry. You know, you have things like this, like you know, like yeah. master class. You know, you want to go learn how to produce tracks or you know things like that, but nothing for the gun industry, man. Yeah. I hear you, man. Nothing, and especially nothing in the gun building industry. <laughs> especially, exactly. Especially with that. And that goes far, man. You teach somebody how to fish, that goes far. Yeah, yeah well, you know, um, teach a man to fish, right? So we know that that's an, that's an old saying, right? Um, yeah, and I think, like you said, Shogun, like a lot of people don't want to share the secrets. You know what I mean? They, they want to hoard them to themselves. They want to you know make money off or whatever it is right like uh it, it's our job and it's our our opportunity to make the community as strong as possible when uh you know spread the wealth of knowledge dude I, dark exactly I, man i want people on this earth to be fucking great every person Agreed. deserves we, we are here on this planet to be great people man to reach greatness and it, and it kills me like when i see I won't get too crazy into it, you know, but homeless people or people that are addicted to drugs or, or, you know, have mental illnesses, it kills me because I'm like, man, we're not put on earth for this bullshit. You know, I just want everybody to be great. And because of that, yeah. I share everything with everybody because I want you to be fucking awesome. <laughs> Excuse my friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think uh, Gaston, Gaston Glock said it best. Perfection. Yeah. <laughs> Seek perfection, y'all. Seek perfection. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Perfection with, with purpose. Yeah. Right. You know, Sorry, I'm being I'm being silly. Come no, on. but it's true. <laughs> I Listen, believe you though. I, 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 you know, it, I'm, I'm with it, you, bro. Right. Wanted, this is, this is why wanted. Glock, this is why Polymer 80 became so big, though, as well. Right. So so let's let's take those couple of thoughts there because what you just heard from Will is the things that we hear from him instructors meetings all the time and from everybody on this panel. There is a deep love and passion for what we do, right? A deep love and genuine passion for what we do. What made Polymer 80 skyrocket is that they, they improved in certain areas on the Glock, but they made it so that you could do it yourself. In, in other words, this is, we took, Polymer 80 took the most popular platform and put it in your hands to build at home. Like if they had done another platform, it probably wouldn't have been as big, right? But they took the Glock platform, which was the definition of perfection that all other manufacturers for years have been trying to catch up to, right? Trying to chase. And Polymer 80 wasn't manufacturing to chase them. They said, no, let's manufacture this and you all can go chase your own perfection. Right. Your mm -hmm. own version of perfection, whatever you see as perfect mm -hmm. for you. And this is what yeah. created an enormous explosion. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. You know? They set the tone. Yeah. And so we've had a lot of uh, people come in that feel that passion and that purpose as well. But you brought up something here that I thought was great, which was teach a man to fish. Right. And so like 
I think everybody here pretty much knows that that saying, right? Like teach a man to fish, you know, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Uh, teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. But the question really comes down to why should he do either, right? Like why should he eat a fish even if you give it to him, yeah. right? And and definitely, definitely, why should he take the time to learn the skill of fishing, which takes time and patience, right? And hours. Because if anybody's been fishing, it's not like, you know, you see when they throw it in a room, right? It's hours. It's, there's days sometimes that go by with nothing. So what gives somebody the ability or the purpose to even give themselves the time to learn the skill of fishing? Why should they do that? And in both instances, it comes down to purpose. Whether I try to give them the fish or I try to teach them to fish, they won't do either one unless they're hungry. <clears throat> right? Yeah. So if the person isn't hungry, even if I give that person the fish, he's not going to eat it. And he definitely isn't going to take the time to go learn the skill of fishing. And what is missing in our world is that hunger. That Right? That hunger. But who sees it? Like the people in the build community, we're the ones who see that hunger. We're the ones who have been chasing that and trying to get everybody else in the firearms community fired up. Like take this shit into your own hands. Learn this skill. Yeah. This world is getting fucking so dangerous, right? So dangerous. Again, we were talking last night on this thing. I'm not even talking about other humans. I'm talking about just the, the world state right now. Every action the leaders are doing in this world are putting us all in fucking danger. Right. And so, like, if you're not prepared with this knowledge and these skills, you're going to be caught off guard. You're going to be caught way off guard. So well, take the sure. time to learn the skills like this. Always. Uh, I think everybody here knows to me. So you just say it all the time. This is this is a life skill that you have to learn. Right. This is like yeah, riding a bike. It's like swimming. It's like learning to cook. This is a life skill you should know. Well, no, you know no. what, too? You know what, too, MGB? The man is different nowadays. You know, the common man is different these days. It's, they're, we're, you know, they're not, we're not built the same. You know, we're getting very, very soft. Our military is getting soft. Our culture is getting soft. We all know where it's going, right? There's no man around anymore because they're transitioning and shit. So I look at this as being a way to kind of add to your manhood, right? Doing things with your hands, you know, being creative, using your mind, being proud of something, you know, putting some some work in, getting sweaty, right? Having pain in your wrist because you've been, you know, using your uh, Dremel all day, you know, it just contributes to your manhood. And I think, you know, it's a, it's a good time for, for that kind of thing. Nobody really does anything with their hands anymore. Look, we all just sit at a computer and and. And have AI do everything for us now. <laughs> you know, like we're getting dumber. Like te technological advance or progress doesn't always mean progress for humanity. I always think of that. And that was something I read in, a, I believe it was a 365 DAOs, a Taoist book. He was, or no, you know what? It was Scholar Warrior, um, book called Scholar Warrior. Yeah, he said, it, uh, progress for in technology doesn't always mean progress for humanity, and that always stuck with me. You know, it's a fine, it's a dangerous slope if you, you know what I mean. You, you get to a certain point. <laughs> I agree, man. Christy yeah. out there says, uh, "Can you guys please teach a master class on manhood?" <laughs> we could add that to the roster. <laughs> well, I guess then we should move on to PED Ralph, and if he whips it out, I guess. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 anything uh, out, all right? <laughs> now whip out the knowledge. That's what I was talking about. Oh, this is a family channel over here. Yeah, yeah come on, man. Talking about. Oh, you just ruined it. Yeah. Oh, oh Ralph, it's your mind out the gut. During the uh, instructor <laughs> chats, they would have they, they'd freak out. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys. <laughs> uh, Jason, tell us Jason. about you, man. So for those that don't know, I'm P.A.D. Ralph. I made a name for myself building polymer 80s um, in the last two or three years. Uh, and recently I've transitioned as will. <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way. 
I <laughs> mean, <laughs> that community is kind of questionable sometimes. Just yes. Saying. <laughs> so I've recently transitioned to 3D printing. And yes, the community is a little, a little weird. You know, when you got all this technology and computer stuff and CAD and filaments and melted plastic all put in the same place, you, you get some uh, interesting characters. So I, I did dive into that. I've I wouldn't say mastered it, but I've no. Yeah, I've mastered it. I've mastered the art of 3D printing to the point where I feel comfortable enough to be able to teach others. So we do have a couple of courses as far as 3D printing goes. If you're new and you just uh, uh, maybe not just heard of it, but maybe you've heard about 3D printing and it just sounds out of this world. It, it, you're like, there's no way that frame's going to hold up. I don't even know how to begin. I don't know what machine to get. I don't know what filament to get. What's a layer height? What's an extrusion multiplier? Like you don't know any of these terms. Come talk to us. The basic class will teach you all of that so we'll we'll uh get your printer set up we'll give you recommendations as far as what printer you should go with and we'll get you comfortable to the point where you're you're going from uh, i don't know about this to huh okay i think i can do this because i'll be honest here it took me about a week to get comfortable with it and i did do a lot of digging around the internet uh trying to find the answers but there's so many different ways to do this so many different people giving their recommendations as far as to what's the best of this or what's the best of that and the correct answer is there is no best of anything of Every, everything has its purpose all the machines work in their own way yes there's some crappy machines out there but any 3d printer you buy will be able to produce um trinkets and nice little toys for your kids, as well as ARs and Glocks, um, and much more. There's crazy stuff that I've never seen before that you can't buy at the store, and the only way to uh, obtain those firearms is to actually print them, because there is no other way to uh, get them. So that's what got me in the printing, was because I was, I don't want to say tired of Polymer 80s, but I had built them all, and I felt like man, I need to find something else to get into here. And uh, yeah, those Chairman Juan Glocks and the the Mac Daddy, the Mac and Cheese, all of these crazy designs. There's a, there's a Glock with a two-handed size grip called the Biggest Dickest. It's, it's hilarious and ridiculous <laughs> at the same time. Uh, but yeah, 3D printing is definitely next level. I feel like the technology is only going to get better and better and better as we uh, keep progressing. And there's so many people in the community contributing knowledge, contributing their time and developing new uh, filaments, new printers, new materials, everything. So it's only going to go up from here. I don't think there's going backwards in 3D printing. So if you've ever thought about that, you might want to check out our courses. Um, if you're already in the 3D printing and let's say you want to step your game up a little bit, you want to start printing carbon fiber nylons and all those heat resistant materials because... Let's face it here. PLA is is a little heat sensitive. You know, you leave that frame in your car, it's definitely uh, going to melt on a hot, sunny day in the south. So if you want to step that up to some filaments that are comparable to OEM Glocks, you, you definitely need to upgrade that printer and learn some new materials, which took me a little bit to get comfortable with, man. Um, definitely difficult to get those carbon fiber nylons to print properly and clean. Uh, so, yeah, come check us out. Book a class with us if you've ever thought about 3D printing. And I'll also do uh, Glock assembly and Glock builds as well. Uh, however, we do have other guys teaching those classes. But if you want to take a class with me and I'll teach you all my little secrets, why I do certain things, come take a, an assembly class with your boy, P80 Ralph. <laughs> Man, and, uh, and we, just, we just talk a second about manhood, ladies and gentlemen, because if you become a master 3D printer like Ralph, the girls, they just give you their phone numbers and you can look at right there in the back of all the sticky notes. So all the numbers he gets <laughs> for being a master 3D printer right there. I'm just saying. <laughs> we all want to be P80 Ralph in our next life. Yeah, pimp <laughs> juice. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, this game is strong. Yeah. Um, can we keep it on 3D printing and maybe uh, we'll go rich and then uh, veggies go boom? You think we can do that? 
Um, for Mr. sure. Mitch, I'm going to, I'm going to bring you up, man. Just kind of talk about your 3d printing and the things that you're going to be yeah. doing at the university. You get very special. Sure. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Let's bring you up. I got oh, it. I brought me up wrong ball guy. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, Ralph was talking about carbon fiber nylon, and I personally am working on a Steyr Aug parts kit. So the parts kit comes without the receiver. I'm part of the Steyr Aug beta. So printing that in carbon fiber nylon on the bamboo P1P. And also, boom, we're, we're doing some ghost gunners. Uh, so careful, careful. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing all of that stuff. So 3D printing, a uh, little ghost gunning going on here. Uh, I'm doing some 3D printing classes, and I'm going to show you how to end-to-end -end send a print from Cura to your printer through Octoprint, monitor it with Octoprint, have the printer turn on, turn off on a thermal runaway, send you a push bullet message, and a picture of the print will show up on your watch when you're done. So that, that's what my class is teaching. Yeah, okay. Nice. That sounds hot. Yeah. Oh, and have an AI spaghetti detective watch your print and make sure it comes out correct. Yeah. And make your cappuccinos. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Actually, right. I got a dedicated machine yeah. for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, look, we, we got a, fr a freaking Stang, been a long time uh, builder in the in the build community. He says he's dialing his Ender 3. His benchies look bad. Everyone's got to start somewhere, right? So, uh, Sean, What's I'm going to bring you up. <laughs> I'm going to bring you up, Sean. Yeah. Perfect uh, time. Boom. Let's right? talk about Ready the to go, boom, baby. Here you yeah. go. Here's the man, the myth, the legend. Here he is. <laughs> yeah, what's up, guys? So uh, as you see above, I am Benchies Go Boom. That's what I do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm part of the 3D printing team here. And, uh, you know, I think 3D printing can be a pretty scary or like a, a timid journey, so to say, uh, to, to navigate those waters. And I think what we've created here is a, a safe place. This is a place where we don't have to talk in code about where to find certain things um, or, or uh, you know, how, how to do certain things. We'll, we'll, we'll shoot it to you straight. And, you know, we're, we're here to kind of mentor you and to, to go on this learning curve uh, together. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll be right there with you. Uh, all of us in, on this team have uh, a lot of experience uh, across multiple platforms. So I know uh, PAD Ralph had mentioned, you know, what's the best printer? Uh, and and he, he was right, you know, uh, the answer depends for, for everybody, for your situation, you know, um, are, are, you, are you looking to kind of get in and know every little part, or are you trying to get blast through it as fast as you can, um, you know, and, and, and not have to deal with any of that type of stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're here, here to go on that learning journey with you and um, answer any questions that you, that you have. And, and maybe us also learn, learn some things on the way, because the best way to learn is to teach as well. So, um, you know, we do, we do awesome things here. You know, uh, PAD Ralph was also mentioning some, some different types of, uh, files that are out there. Uh, I don't know if he really went down the rabbit hole of CAD. You could also create and, uh, and make your own files as well. You can customize your own files. If you want a certain stipple pattern, we'll watch out. Uh, you know, um, I think there'll always be that that art though of of hand stippling, but with three D printing, we can create our own stipples uh, or or grip patterns. I like to call them because um, you know I'm not actually sitting there stippling. It's more yeah. more, more CAD design. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of uh, uh, skill to that, uh, but uh, yeah. So that's what we do. Hey man. Mom. Yeah, I know those cheaters. <laughs> you, you, hey, stipples. you don't got to do all that burning plastic stuff. Just print it like that. Yeah. Hey, I, dude, I want to learn how to 3D print, honestly. But yeah. you know what? You guys, I don't know. Are you guys going to be able to get the same grip factor? No, nah, it's not. Ooh. Never. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> but y'all's will look prettier, though, man. My God, dude. Like, once you guys, like, that industry masters that kind of, like, innovates it even more too that's gonna be sexy maybe we'll have some competitions maybe we'll take uh, one of your top stipple uh students and uh we'll get one of our top 3d students and uh ha have a little little grip on hey them. And then, you know what? even better we can take a couple of shogun's custom stipples and make them in a 3d printed file so Ooh. that everyone can have them uh. 
Yeah, you look at that. I like that. Don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, no. Say, you say no, but this community will take everything and make yeah. it printable. E yeah. Exclusive yeah. to Shogun. <laughs> and everyone yeah. else on the internet. Right. He's like uh, he's like Polymer eighty. He uh, he copyrights the process, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So also, if you guys haven't yet, hop on over uh, to Freedom Crew University. Uh, you know, join in over there. We have a special forum over there as well, uh, where you can ask us anything. We're always posting stuff there, and uh, we're in the process of kind of growing the content there. So if you guys want to come over there, contribute there, that would be awesome. Yeah, there's well. a forum. Yeah, come in and say hi, guys. Yeah, good. Good point, Benji. Yep. All right, man. Are we ready for Barry Manilow? <laughs> you know, yeah, actually, if if I, I'm just kidding. If uh, if I could, please. Um, I, I know I joke around a lot, right? Like I'm I'm the goofy one. That's why y'all have picked me for an episode to pick on like ten times, <laughs> right? Out of, out of twelve uh, twelve sessions. But uh, I would like to, even though I joke around a lot and poke poke fun. I'd like to let um, uh, Rogue Banshee go before me. He, uh, I, I tremendously respect his experience, his time, his, I mean, cross, like, this dude knows everything, a, a little bit about everything and everything about a little bit. So, um, yeah, uh, I'd like to give mine to Rogue Banshee. Jay, 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 I don't know if you're going to be bamboozled here, man, but it sounds to me like he wants to be the best for last. That's all I'm saying. Is what it sounds like. I'll, took my I'll take it. I was That's expecting good. to be the last. So I was going to do save the best. I knew you last. were going to. Hey, I'll, 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 I'm just saying. I was trying <laughs> to say <laughs> age before beauty. That's all. Yeah. All right. I mean, guys, another huge legend in the build community. Everybody, welcome the Rogue Banshee. Hey, yeah, that's it's it's funny that uh, that Dark does that. Dark and I have a great um, sense of humor together. Um, <laughs> I love being on his show. He loves coming on mine. Um, oh, yeah. I, I tell everybody that when I'm on Dark's show, it's no longer DLD after Dark. It's like DLD <laughs> all night long um, <laughs> because the two of us will talk for like four hours on a live stream. Like the two of us will be falling asleep talking, um, and we'll so, talk anything yeah, about. <laughs> We'll talk about anything about guns, prepping. We 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 just we just go all out. Um, but hey, yeah, I am uh, I I am the Rogue Banshee. Uh, gosh, I've been doing the video thing for about five years. Uh, was it? I used to be an FFL and a gunsmith, and uh, I'll be teaching the Sig classes. So when you guys get bored with those Glocks, you can graduate up to the Six and uh, and start learning something a little bit different. And uh, I'll do the SIGs and the AR-15 classes. And, uh, well, MGB and I have been talking for a while. We've been trying to figure out how to do a 1911 class coming up sometime in the future. That's a really advanced class. Um, when I started building guns, I actually went 1911, worked my way back to Glocks. And, uh, you know, I love building them all. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll build a Polymer 80. I'll build a uh, JSD MUP1, or we'll just build a 1911s, whatever kind of I have around, and it's just fun. Um, I love showing people how to do things. And that's why when you know I got the invitation to come on this platform, I, I mean, I was talking to MGB. Gosh, what, we were talking like 15 minutes. I'm like, I'm in. You're like, you don't even know what it's about yet. I go, I'm in. <laughs> I, I, I'm ready. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly how it went. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how all of our conversations. <laughs> yep. Yeah, 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 probably. Yeah. 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 That's exactly. And yeah. the one thing I will leave everybody with is, you know, they can legislate the gun. They can't legislate the knowledge in your head. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Bingo. That's right. So Big we brain. say they, they can ban what you own. Right. I mean, they can ban what you buy. They can ban what you currently own. Like, that's what they're trying to do right now. Right. What you bought legally. Right. Yeah. But they can't ban what's up in here, man. You know, um, <laughs> knowledge is everything. Right. Knowledge is everything. I, I, I had a student uh, in orientation uh, last night. Uh, so uh, when you become a, a student. Uh, at the university, you go through an orientation with uh, a chief instructor. So last night uh, I hosted it and uh, the student um, was just like that. So, look, I, I can't build. I'm in a state that's behind, you know, enemy lines. I'm, I'm not here to build. 
But what I want to do is I just want to sit and I want to learn this skill. I need to know, I need to know this skill. And I was like, man, good to go. <laughs> You know, sit back and absorb and, you know, uh, the signing up for events and things like that. Because not only do we have courses, but we have special events. Uh, obviously, there's private instruction uh, with the instructors here as well. But special events where you get to join just us and we, you know, kind of go through everything. Right. We go through whatever that little special event is. So I see a lot of questions piling up here. Uh, so we're going to move along to uh, DLD and then we get to some questions and answers uh with the uh with the potential students out there that ready want to move because i'll tell you one of the biggest things we're seeing in the influx uh just so you know no like this is actually the official quote unquote launch right like we, we were kind of joke we were trying to get this stream together for a while now uh for all of us to actually launch it and actually have the university everything kind of running flawlessly and um our boy uh pd ralph kind of Threw a little comment out there on uh, on Instagram, and so we we went kind of full speed a little bit early, okay. But this is actually the launch of Freedom Crew University. Yeah, and Ralph, so yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Ralph likes to be premature a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know you know that firsthand, especially uh, when he's yeah, filling it's, privates. It's, you're, Look, you're, you're, they're, yeah. they're putting stuff. They're putting microplastics in the shit, and our food is all. <laughs> all levels are all chemtrails. <laughs> right. right? Yeah, can't flat Earth. Yeah. <laughs> we never went to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear Joe, yeah. Joe yeah. Biden Don't won the election. <laughs> 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 I'll have it be yeah, known they're... that I last long enough. Okay? <laughs> yeah. There goes all of our channels. Hey, hey, the first Three. round never counts. Round two is where it's at. Hey, dude, round one, sometimes you got to go to the bathroom real quick and get that out the way. Then come. <laughs> 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 oh, you cannot fucking oh, no, you know? oh, <laughs> They're ready. Ten I rounds. forgot what I was saying. <laughs> You're looking back at you like, <laughs> hey, keep <laughs> Maybe I oh, should have yeah. gone before Rogue Banshee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, follow that the up. guy she told you not to worry about. Oh, right, right. <laughs> All right, hey, my bad, MVP. Oh my, my bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what were we Are saying? Are we sure this is not an, an instructor meeting? What? <laughs> Would you say something? This is oh totally yeah, you were sick. You weren't there. Like. That's right. You weren't there for that one, Banshee. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, I guess this one meeting tell you that one lucky student every month gets to actually uh, do this. Come to our uh, instructors' uh, inside meeting and hang out with us. We decided that we were going to do that. Oh, yeah. The student of the month was going to be able to uh, to join all of the chief instructors. It you gets rapid. I might have to have you sign a waiver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no virgin ears. Yeah. 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 You can't hold us accountable uh, for what we say. In there. Oh, <laughs> that's what I, that's or, what I was saying. Or okay. do. That's what I was saying. All right. So, so yeah. So Ralph leaked it. Uh, a little of course early. he did. He leaked a little <laughs> early. Okay. He leaked a little early, and so it was like I don't know three weeks ago. He he leaked a little early. Um, but this is the official launch of Freedom Crew University. And so why I'm telling you that is because we already have 400 uh, members of the, the university. We have 51, uh, more than that now, 50 something uh, already through the application and ready, you know, uh, current active students uh, in there. So, cool. you know, it, it's it's getting busy. <laughs> it's getting busy. And, yeah. um, you know, th there's a point where where we we have 10 instructors, but we've got to also meet the demand uh, uh, for the students. So I would encourage you to uh, not only get registered and go through the application, but, uh, you know, attend a new, uh, new student orientation that we do, meet with the instructors, uh, get involved in the community, in the forum, uh, attend an event. We have events that are out there, special and in inclusive events that are, you know, a very selective uh, amount of seats uh, that we allow in. Uh, and then there's also open seminars as well. So just start getting involved because one of the things that occurs is that people 
are moving we're expanding knowledge here right we're we're we're, we're in everything right so we're teaching glock sig AR, 1911, AK-47, 3D printing, stipplings, right? So everything you could possibly want to know to become a junkie like the rest of us, uh, you'll be able to learn here at the university. All right. Yeah. Barry, Barry, you ready, buddy? Yeah. Right. <laughs> thank you, Banshee. Yeah, thank you, Banshee. Appreciate that. Um, so what's up, everybody? Any time uh, for you, Dark. Thank you. Uh, I'm Dark with DLD After Dark. Um, I'd say I'm probably most well known for my channel, DLD After Dark, and uh, I also have a business, DLD Hardware, and uh, for jigs and stuff like that, because got to keep that community going, and uh, also known for stuff like explosives and stuff like that, but <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I think, so for me personally, I've built everything from Glocks I, I can't even tell you exactly how many Glocks um, to potato guns and cannons and 1911s and ARs. And I, I've just always been extremely passionate about building. And uh, we spoke about this last night, uh, MGB and I, uh, when he came on my show, it was about kind of the, the phases and the evolution of a consumer to a builder. And uh, it's just so cool to see everyone's evolution. And as a, uh, chief instructor at uh, freedom crew university um i uh um sorry what's up oliver driving to what's up brother um as a chief instructor at uh, freedom crew university although i have a lot of different uh you know strengths in building um my focus is mostly going to be glock building uh doing it properly first time quality if you're all familiar with that term and uh and of course um glock <coughs> assembly and uh, branching out to other things in the in the future, and you guys may even see an AK built instructor coming on to our uh, um, to our platform, and also a knife builder and a knife um, uh, smith, uh, bladesmith coming on as well. So we're working on that. So, oh, uh, but personally, our secrets, man. You give oh, us all our secrets. My bad, my bad. Ralph, can Jr. we take, take that one first? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but uh, honestly. My bad, my bad. Uh, just kidding, guys. Um, <laughs> but for real, um, you know, I, I have a, a belief that I typically communicate to my people, which is I believe that every single human being, not just people in the United States, right? I believe that every single human being has the natural right to, of course, you know, own, carry and all that, but build modern firearms in the privacy of their own home with zero governmental overreach and because of everything that's happened in our world whether it's youtube or, or facebook or whatever you know woke crazy leftist extremist platform we're operating on unfortunately because that's where the masses are that's where the reach is we're taking that back right this what we're doing right here is freedom fighting and every single one of us as an instructor cares deeply about education and growth and development through education and just sharing the gift so that's why we're all here man and uh what's up y'all what's up freaking staying what's up all you guys man love all y'all thank you for I joining us and and thank you mgb for i mean you literally like just called us and reached out and you were like yo and you're like yep i'm down let me know let me know <laughs> <laughs> so thank you i appreciate you Let's make it happen. Oh, you're right yeah. though, Dark. He sent me a message on Instagram. Was like, "Hey, Will, give me a call," and I, I and put his cell phone. I was like, "Marine gun builder just told me to call." I was like, "What the fuck?" You just responded, "Yes." Yeah, I was he hit me it. up, and he was like, "Yo, I'm thinking about starting a building." Yep. <laughs> right away. I'm on board. That, Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. He has that kind of influence on us. Oh, yeah. oh you're, you're you're muted, Banshee. Oh, and shout out real quick. Um, so I just as as a young boy um i learned building from marine gun builder from the rogue banshee from i mean there's a lot of great people in chat that i learned from so you know the the next best student is the next best instructor right so uh, you know reserve any preconceived notion or any judgment you ha may have like amongst others like give it a chance to learn grow and develop with others and it, once you truly open up your mind the possibilities are endless and this is something that you get to keep 
forever, right? This is something that no platform, no, you know, political party, no, no one can take from you. And this guarantees that my child has the ability to build if she so chooses and that her children have the ability to build if they choose as well. So let's keep it going. I appreciate all y'all. Well said. For real, man. For yeah. real. And, you know, look, can you imagine if the NFA ever gets undone, the shit we'll be able to teach? Oh. Woo! <laughs> he, he, you know, the future is bright, right? Mm -hmm. I say all the time, be patient. Because as yeah. time moves on, the truth is on our side. So, guys, is this is how you synthesize erythritol tetranitrate using simple. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Love it. Just kidding. All right, let me let me bring up some comments here because we got. So, you know, I know I miss a whole lot of comments. So, uh, you can repost some, but we we got a lot of love uh, coming through for all of you. Um, uh, as you've been speaking. So I uh, want to just throw some up here. Oh, that was mine. So we'll move this out here. We'll put this one here. Well, thank you. Come out and play. I appreciate that. Uh, Banshee. Right? Yeah. Everybody knows that. Banshee is yeah. the man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yep. Um, I, I built I my first that, three points. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, you know, I, I built my first 320 watching him and Pew Tang and you and you know it's it's cool watching Ralph. I mean this it's a community, you know, we give to each other. Well what's so fun about that is you know, uh I think I was the first one to do a Muff One uh build. And then for me it was it was always fun to see everybody else do their Muff One build after me, like MGB when he did his, I'm like, son of a bitch, he figured out that damn slot. <laughs> um, like, shit, how, why didn't i figure that out i did the shogun method i did the freehand uh method <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's all we had until until somebody comes out with a little you know uh the dremel station and goes oh yeah we're just gonna build this out I'm like well shit that made sense yeah yeah, yeah. all right let's see um that was funny. He says, "Some bitch, you figured that out." <laughs> Dude, I love my viewers. Y'all are crazy, man. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. All right. Oh, look at this. This is a good comment. This is actually our goal. We've been talking in the background, right? Like we 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 were saying as we were designing and and putting all this together, how would we measure success? Mm -hmm. And how we would measure success is is exactly that. How many people we can bring from wherever they're at now to this level and beyond and reach more people. Because I'm going to say it again. I'm going to repeat it over and over and over again. The way we win is putting more patriots on our side. That's the way you win. Yep. There is yep. no other way. There, it's, it's not monetary. Those things are important, like giving money to, to the people that are fighting and lobbying and, you know, involved in lawsuits. But it, it is not anything more. The number one way you're going to win is to just put more numbers and bring more people home to the love of firearms and building freedom. That's the way yeah. that we win this long term when we up our numbers and we do that one patriot at a time. And every time we're able to not just help a patriot, but bring them to the point that they're at this level where they're out there reaching others on a massive scale then we have duplicated our efforts and we're ensuring that the next generation has enough numbers behind them to thwart off any future attacks on their individual rights. Mm -hmm. okay. That's success. Yeah. That's the mission. That's the goal. And so, yeah, man, uh, we hope to have lots of Top Gun instructors uh, here. We've got a lot of cool, uh, as well as like, like student of the month, I kind of like, we went on that a little bit, but uh as you can see, we have this healthy competition going, as you already saw between, you know, the best tipple and the best 3D thing there. So, like, when these little um, healthy competitions come up, uh, we we can't wait for that to occur, right? We can't wait to have uh, the students uh, and the instructors work together collaboratively. You know, this is huge. This is this is. <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> Yeah, it, it looks like it's like sculpted by like several people with micro scissors. 
You know Dude, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got a Sharpie and a beard, you know? <laughs> Chiseled. Yeah. yeah. But get some more freaking staying again, man. We love you, brother. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, old you. Old school, old school member, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Mr. Staying. Yeah, he's been around forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Mr. Shadow Systems right there, bro. He's got like a dozen shadow systems. <laughs> Always showing them off. I'm like, bro, where where you get these? That's it. Yard that's sales. Good, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, look at um, Benji's glasses, though. This guy looks like a bot. You know who he reminds me of is uh, Macho Man. With oh, the- shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. 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 <laughs> the Someone said moment. that earlier, by the way. Uh, <laughs> you still need the uh, fan to get the hair going. Just to have it going, yeah. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah. I, I would oh, you, know, you, you kind of remind yeah. me of uh of Eugene from The Walking Dead a little bit, you know. Mm. Um got that Ooh. uh like just a you know solid dude with a solid mullet and he's quick and witty, you know. You, you just got it, man. The bulletproof well, thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah, thank you. It is. It really is. They actually make this spray uh, similar to like 3D lac or like the hairspray you spray on your beds. I actually <laughs> use that in my hair. Level 3A <laughs> spray. The, yeah, the adhesion <laughs> of my hair, you could print a sweet... Uh, the... <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. Just in the front, party in the back, baby. Yeah. Oh, I, I got to cut the front right now. It's getting kind of long, but yes. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> Will Tactical Trash Panda be teaching beard sculpting classes? <laughs> yeah. Now you're asking Good. the real questions. These are the real questions that we need answers to. Hey, you know, yes. how to be a man, right? That <laughs> you gotta listen to the community. These are there the classes go. they want, right? This is yeah. what they want. How to be that, a man tactical I, trash panda. I can teach you guys that. I taught Ralph how to grow out his beard. He did. <laughs> he did. I guess these Not are what uh, private lessons are for, right? <laughs> Ooh, <hey-o. laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. This, Fill uh, it up, privates. Look, look at Martin Soul Glow. Oh, just let your soul glow. <laughs> just let Trash it Panda, can we get, can we get like a, a side profile? I feel like that thing's got length on it, you know? I mean, you should have seen Dang. it before I got away. Uh, no, no, get, uh-huh. get into the door more. So get the white behind it. Get get the white. There. Yeah. That thing okay. looks like a profile of an iron. It like I am iron that impressed. That, oh, it is oh, wait, wait. Guy. I'm, I'm going to replace all the memes. You know, the blonde guy on the meme you know, with the yeah. The chat. I the, That's what I was just thinking. Dude. And that thing is flush up. with it's flush with your nose, bro. Like, how did you do that? Like that. Panda, panda <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, dude. Greek gods come down from the sky. And they, they hook them up. <laughs> hey, <it's laughs> <a good> beat. <laughs> with with tools forged in fire and emotion. Mm-hmm. Damn, Leah. <laughs> <That is. laughs> and then they hit it with Benchigo Boom spray, and then That's it's right. boom. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. So I, I, I have a question for the community, if I may. Um, obviously, we got uh, classes and seminars, private lessons and things that are uh, coming up and available, of course. But aside from, uh, you know, 3D printing, uh, the advanced 3D printing, the um, Glocks, Glock assembly, SIGs, 1911s, ARs, like all shotguns, 1022s, all, you know, the, the, I guess, typical things, right? Um, AKs, uh, some other stuff that we mentioned on here. What else would you guys want to see? I think that's what I'm most curious about. Like, you know, whether it's in chat now or in messages later, put some thought into what you guys would like to see because I, I, we, we want this to be catered to you guys specifically, right? This belongs to y'all even if we're leading it this belongs to you guys so let us know what you want to see and you know what can i elaborate on that <clears throat> please i've been brainstorming on some other classes that i can run as well um somebody mentioned on one of my live streams serico and that was one that i had had in mind but that's you know a later date however there are other ways to coat weapons right uh, rattle can is a great option. You have oh, yeah. 
Duracode in a can as well. Um, so I'm while we're on Aluma that, hide. huh, brother? What's up? A little high. Yeah, man. So while we're on that topic, uh, I don't know. Um, can you do me a favor, uh, MGB? Go to my website real quick. Sure. I am the admin bitch. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> <just> <laughs> my uh, yep. Do it, bitch. Oh, my banners, MGB. <laughs> the fuck is my That's banners, what the B really stands for is bitch. It was my turn. Wow. It was my Ooh. turn. <laughs> I think his website is DLD hardware. I think. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, so yeah, get, get to my site. I'll show you a tab where I do have some rattle can um examples. Well, I gotta get rid of your brand first. I don't <laughs> started all this, but DB Cooper to answer your question, it's me and me and Banshee are gonna do AKs. Um but what am I doing now? Bringing up your website? Yeah, so go to my website, go to uh, services, and you'll see something that says uh, Rattle Can, I believe. Um, <clears throat> hold on a minute. Yeah, exactly. FreedomCreekUniversity.com. Yeah. <laughs> Loser. Doing good. Boot from stream. Show me. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 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 this is what you guys miss. You don't see what we go through for you, man. Exactly. Get him out of here, this cock smoking prick. Exactly. Dang. Hey, show, hey, Shogun, are you taking him to the Crayola site? Is that what you're oh, saying? Oh, easy over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so easy. go ahead and click, click on services, please, sir. Uh, paint jobs, rattle can. And then go ahead and en enlarge that photo right there. So I don't really, I don't really, uh, and then you can click on that too. I don't really like market this stuff uh, a whole lot, like through through my Instagram or anything like that. But that's you know one of the rattle can jobs that I've done. So if anybody's, you know, is there anybody interested in doing rattle can too? We can hold the class, you know, for that. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. You just gotta, you know, learn the method. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I think I saw a couple people mention that. And rattle can has been as long as it's the prep is done appropriately and it's you know cooked on, and you know, I guess it depends on what they're using, but rattle can can last a very long time when done correctly, and it looks great when it battle wears too, man. Yeah, it yeah. <clears throat> are you on the website, sir? Yes, I'm done, sir. Oh, Thank okay. you. I'm just making sure. Just making yeah, sure. checks in the mail. Checks yeah, yeah. I'll allow. Mail. I'll allow you to rest. You're good. Take a break. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna forget that comment, man. Not gonna forget that. All right. That's great too. Preparedness, uh, the prepping preparedness, um, click kind of thing. That that would be an excellent yeah. class. Enhance. Yeah, that would be. That'd be fun to teach too. What? Which? Which? Yeah. Which, Prepping. Uh, preparedness, prepping, yeah. Mm. I teach that. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he teaches it on, on every uh, every stream. And actually, I'm surprised. A few people have mentioned 37 millimeter. Um, of course, only lawful 37 play, millimeter. Play um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flares, signaling smugs, devices. CS, yep, yep. Um, I got something really exciting coming up in the 37 millimeter department. So uh, <laughs> keep an eye out on that. <laughs> I, I heard you're buying me a. I heard you're buying me a launcher. Is that true? Uh, no. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 my source is pretty confident. I don't know. I, I got a launcher. I got I got a unicorn launcher. It yeah. is the nine inch. And I know some people talk you shit like about the spikes. Unicorn. Uh, hey, it's black too. All right. So I, I assume because um, you said nine inches. I mean. You should, see, you should see the width. All right, this thing is impressive. Oh my uh, it's it's a it's a nine inch havoc. A lot of people talk shit about the havoc, but you know, depending on what you want to do with it, it's an excellent option. That's not a sixteen hundred dollar GL06. Um, but shout out to B and T anyway. Um, but the uh, the nine inch spikes launcher that opens by rotating to the side with the side folding standalone unit and uh i found one picked it up and boom it was available so uh i reload 37 millimeter um of course in all the lawful ways that 
there are. <laughs> Once you do anything that's anti-personnel, it's uh, it's a no-go with 37 millimeter. That would turn it into a destructive device, um, which brings up another thing. Um, some people, uh, I talked to a few people that uh, said uh, NFA courses, like classes on NFA stuff, uh, even just covering all the subjects or something like that could be, I think that'd be more like a seminar kind of thing, but uh, we could do that too. So no, no rattle can in the comments. Okay, fine. Whatever. I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> a rattle can is highly underrated. And it I think is, dude. everyone, if, if everybody out there, like if, if y'all are listening and you don't have a rattle canned gun, go do it. Prep appropriately, right? You got to prepare your, your firearm appropriately, but you got to do a, a, a or rattle you just can. do it like what we did before we, we deployed and just threw paint all over it. As long as it kind of throw- matched. Yep, throw some some pine needles and some leaves on it, and just you know, splatter Jackson Pollock that ish. <laughs> All right, so Kurt's got a question: How are the classes taught? What platform, Zoom, or does FCU have a different way? So we have our private meeting links uh, that you'll get uh, to come to class. One of the so again, one of the greatest things here is that it's very personalized, right? So we have a maximum that we take uh, per class is six students. So no more than six in an actual course. Uh, This allows us obviously to give, you know, really high attention to exactly what you're doing in the class. And all courses have that exact same six participant limit. Okay. Uh, So you'll get a private link, much like you see us talking here live, except they'll have multiple cameras going so that you can see every angle of what they're doing. And they can also, uh, you can interact with them. This is something that we've never been able to do before because you have to understand that on social media, it's one way. You watch a video. Now you'll be able to actually build with us live, right? So that's one kind of course you can take. You can also come to events right? Where you just do like you normally do. You watch us, but there's special events. We're going to pass along um, different information depending on what the event is. So that's another way, another course that you'll do. We also have private instruction uh, as well. So you you know that there are like some gunsmithing schools out there that charge, you know, a car is worth the money. Yeah. 11 grand just to start. <laughs> And, you know, it's all self-pay, self-homework, do quizzes, do that shit. That's not us, guys. We're a gun, we're gun builders. We're here to teach you how to build fucking guns yeah, and to do it. Over right. your shoulder. Yeah, we, this is how, this is what it is. And it's interactive and it's live and it's not PowerPoint and it's not quizzes. It's, this is what you do. Show us how you do it. And we walk you through it. We provide support, obviously, in the forum, after the class as well. Once you're a student, you're a student for life. Like I said earlier, our job is to make every student an instructor, right? Like that's our job is to bring you to that level. So the course is a really one off, right? You take the course that you want and that you need uh, to take. And then you follow through uh, with all of the additional support afterwards in the forum and so on and so forth. Okay. Or you attend specific events uh, that the different chief instructors give, um, that might interest you on a specific topic. Uh, There are things that are events that'll help you learn about things. So maybe you get your feet wet in an event first before you commit to a class. Now, here's the other thing. This stuff is not expensive. It's $300 is our most expensive class. Okay. Not 11 grand, $300. All right. This is the build community. We want to teach people to build. All right. Um, And I think right now it's 249, right? 249 is the, until... May first, I think it and is. You're not going to have to write yeah. a paper about you know how how you feel about this book written <laughs> yeah. in Elizabethan English. We're right, getting, we're getting down and dirty. Right, yeah. and you right. can stop us and ask questions and be like, "Hey, hold on, you know my X, Y, and Z is it, like it, it's it's so close to like it's it's just an intimate setting, very intimate. Right. And yeah. and listen, you you are literally <laughs> building with the best builders in the nation. Yeah. Right. That's that's just the, you get to sit with us <laughs> like this and build, yep. you know, yep. exactly. So, <laughs> you know, like we feel like it's not only the evolution of the future of the building community, but it's so affordable um, and, and the expertise is so great that, you know, you the best of our minds are coming together uh, to make sure that that happens. So 
hope that answers your question, Kurt. You know, obviously the first part is to go over to the university and become a student. That's the first step, right? And then you yeah. can uh, go into events <laughs> or you can go into classes, whatever you'd like to do from there, okay? And, and really quickly, uh, so Kurt24 is one of my one of my viewers. He actually follows all of us, right? He uh, he's mm-hmm. one of my viewers as well. And uh, he's hit me up on Instagram. And, and he, he, just to show how committed he is, he was like, hey, I just picked up this. I'm waiting on that. I'm saving up for this. Like he he's planning because not everybody can just, you know, dump the money for the class for a class mm-hmm. right now. So we're also coming up with other things in the future. But uh, the fact that he's planning in advance and, and budgeting and getting things like that, that's commitment. So, Kurt, I uh, applaud your commitment, man. You're uh, you're a hell of a guy. Yeah, man. And uh, again, you know, like we have a class, an event right up right now that I that posted last night right before I went on DLDs is 25 bucks. You're going to spend yeah. two hours with me. <laughs> and I'm going to go over all of like the little secrets that I do to ensure I have first time quality, like all the little things that add up. Right. So like these little events are a couple of hours of just straight mentorship with each and every one of us on different topics of expertise. Right. I mean, it's just it's it's the plan, man. It's the, yeah, it's for, the for way anybody forward. out there. Yeah. It's if... the way we create the next generation of outstanding gunsmiths. Right in a trade that is desperately needed on an individual scale as well, right? Yeah, facts. They want to delete us from YouTube? Well, we'll start our own shit. Shit. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm looking forward to, is is the ability to share without restrictions. That I I don't have to worry about what I'm saying, what I'm touching or showing, or those kinds of things. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, like, like you guys, I, I had to delete 900 in videos. Board. Say that again. I think that's so important what he just said. Can everybody just say that again, Rich? Yeah, I, I deleted 900 videos. I deleted 300 watch uh, minutes. I, I'm sorry, 3 million watch. No, 3 million views, 900 videos off my channel. And I have now the ability to share, you know, without restriction on at Freedom Crew University. For their benefit, for the right, yeah. and watch, but understand what he said that that's three million, three million views, right? Yep, nine hundred yeah, videos. videos. That's nine hundred videos of freedom that 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 new patriots cannot have access to anymore. You understand that we're, we're fighting to get those patriots on our side. We're fighting to get those people here with us, right? That's what's going to happen. So we've got to do everything we can to reach out to them and to to maximize our skill set to bring them into the community. So I'm going to say it again, folks. This is the only way that we win and we create a new generation of great builders to pass it forward because the world, the social media world, they're not going to allow us to do it anymore. They don't want us to reach new people. They don't want us to increase our numbers. And they're going to do everything that they can to make sure that we don't. And we are going to do everything we can to make sure we do. All right. And so Freedom Crew University, let everybody know, you want to learn from the best. You want to build the best first time quality guns, whatever it is, a Glock, a SIG, an AR, an AK, a 1911, a shotgun, a 1022. You want to 3D print your own freedom. You want to learn to stipple your own freedom. This is where you come. Yes, yeah. All right. Seemed like there was some interest too for the rattle can. I saw all those comments, guys. By the way, I can't <laughs> comment that. So. <laughs> but I saw a little bit of interest. That was that's that's good to know. So look, so Bravo, uh, you're exactly the person that needs to come. Yeah. Yes, right sir. Now. Yeah. You understand? You understand? We won't let you fail, man. <laughs> Yeah, and it's almost impossible to really destroy a frame. Almost everything can be resuscitated. Almost. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I took a Dremel to one and filled it in. Yeah. And that gun still yeah. works. Yeah. yeah. And for for everyone out there, because I've seen a lot of people like earlier in the stream, right? They were like, "Man, I miss MGB. Is MGB back? Like, what's the MGB for for you guys that miss that?" 
that style, that, you know, focus, that, that video flow, that, you know, the camera angle, the polishing, the, if you guys mm -hmm. miss that, this is where that lives now. That's back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it is back, you know, let's, uh, let's the floating it. head, the floating head is the floating head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> all hell, yeah. the floating head. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, Rich, because because he's doing this live and it's my turn. That means the next instructor meeting, it's your turn. You're last. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I got to head out of here. I have a show starting in five minutes and I have some guests in my lobby already. Um, yeah. Thanks for having Word. me on, the guys. Um, if you're in the comment section there and you're still thinking, uh, should I do this? Yes, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah, thank you all for having me on. Thank you, brother. It's, uh, it's a blast hanging with you guys, and uh, I'll see you on the Chairman Juan channel at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for episode 11 of the roast. Come join yep. us. We're gonna finish up here just in time, sir. That's it. All right. So look, Patriots. Thank God. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> now we can fight for who's the man. Right. An hour and a half, and no feet. <laughs> and he was right next to me. That the you know the square right next to me just bugging. <laughs> he, was, he was too close to your personal space, right? Exactly. exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yep. All right, guys. Listen, everybody. Thank you. I, I know it, we've been looking forward to this stream for a long time. I hope to see you all over there. I hope to you know not only have you as students, but um, you know sharing the knowledge with the rest of the community as well. Uh, we're all moving forward. Uh, I think this is a much, although we've all been decimated uh, here, as you heard, you know, videos taken down, channels banned, mm -hmm. you know, notes to Congress Strikes. about fucking YouTube channels, all this ridiculous that has to happen. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we're one big team here. And you have to understand that they're, that this team you're looking at is here fighting for you and fighting to keep this information uh, flowing. All right. So all new content that we're creating, obviously, is not going to be on YouTube. Uh, we're going to keep it in the university and do downloads and things like that uh, for the students that come through. OK. Anybody else have any parting words of advice? I mean, I don't have advice, but I want to I've been wanting to say this, I guess, for a little bit. Um, I wanted to let the, the students know, too, that if if you're in that realm where you're, you're kind of looking for purpose built stuff, too. Make sure you get with me, whether it's on the forum or whatever. I'm all about purpose-driven um, equipment, gear, firearms, and stuff like that. So if you have a, a a certain type of build that you're looking for and you want some suggestions, let me know whether it's competition, uh, carry, duty, anything like that. I could I can help you not put the dumb stuff on it so you're like, why did I spend the money for this when – I could have went this route and saved some money and got a yeah. better light or an optic or something like that. So I'm here to help with that as well. I didn't get to say that earlier. but yeah. And 3D printing too. Uh, I'm yeah. going to throw in with that because you can waste a whole lot of time doing a, uh, like weeks of research only to get oh, frustrated. Yeah. Just come learn from yeah. the physical best. Yeah. Just oh, come yeah. learn yeah. from the best. Right. Yeah. Stippling. Yeah. Same thing. You've always wanted to do that. Yes, you can send it out. And yes, you could spend a lot of money on it or you can learn to perfect that trade yourself. Yeah. Right. And me, yeah. you know, Will said this, but it is so true. And I, I encourage you to go do it for yourself. There is not a lot of information out there when it comes to pro stippling, pro stipplers yeah. keep that information well guarded and they don't like to share. And the reason they got good is because they fucked up a lot of frames over a long period of time, spending a lot of money on fucking up those frames. Will is a pro elite stippler willing to show you the trade and not hold back and not hide yeah. secrets, okay? So tap into that resource. That's an incredible resource. Um, Banshee is one of the most knowledgeable fun people i've ever spoken to and when him and i speak it, it just it's, it's ours. like literally <laughs> I, I know I, I i would come to montana except you got some crazy chinese balloons going over there but you and i can go meet <laughs> in another state if you would like but you know I, I mean you really want to like i i understand a lot of people respect me but he's one of the people i respect the most 
out of everybody in this industry because his knowledge is so deep, but he lets it flow. He doesn't hold back. He's always willing to share. And again, he should have given up 50 fucking times and he doesn't. He keeps pushing forward because he understands the mission and the bigger purpose is much bigger than him. Right. This is exactly the type of people you get to learn from. So um, don't appreciate do, that, man. Yeah. Take advantage of it. Um, you know, Benchies and Rich and, you know, uh, I know that Ralph left, but these are the guys you want to be learning about the future from. You know, there's old school gunsmiths like us that you should learn from. You should take these classes. But realistically, if you're looking forward to the next evolution of firearms, there are no three better mentors that you can learn from right now. I challenge you to go out there and look from three better mentors that you can learn how to 3D print guns from. They just don't exist. They're right here. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Okay. And then, of course, we get guys like DLD and, and Tactical Trash Panda, right? Old school yes, block guys, man, right? Uh, I won't even say old school, but they're, they're the next generation. These guys are going to be teaching, you know, for the next 20, 30 years here, man, right? They're, yeah. they're going to make such an impact on the gun building community. It's not even funny. These guys are young, motivated, uh, and ready to pass on knowledge right? Yeah. So the future is bright for us all, for us all. Uh, and being a collaborative team and a huge community that we are, we're going to push that forward. Uh, and we're going to bring a lot of patriots along with us. So I'm super excited. And I would, if I may, um, one thing I would say is I would challenge people out there because I'm sure there's some people that are like, I've already built a Glock, right? I've already built a P80. I've already built five, six, 10. I've already built 20, right? There is never an opportunity where, you know, learning takes a backseat, right? It, you, we can all practice things incorrectly, right? So whatever small bad habits, whatever small issues or problems, like there, there's always things we can learn from, you know, through each other. You're looking at collectively thousands of, of builds, right? This is uh, mm -hmm. so... Uh, put uh, whatever preconceived notions you may have, right? Uh, just throw those out the window and be like, all right, I'm, I'm ready to learn, right? Even if it's just one of the seminars, even if it's just a conversation, if you hit us up, we're just dudes, right? Hit us up on Instagram, talk to us, like, you know, just have a conversation. And uh, this, this is, I truly believe, the, the next step in, you know, perpetuating freedom throughout the world. So, right. hell yeah. Yeah. And we get to pass the information on without getting fucked with anymore. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Another big piece of it. So um, thank you all for joining us tonight. Go show Ralph some love over on the roast. <laughs> thank you to yeah. all the guests tonight, all the chief instructors. Give them a round of applause in the comments. Give them a round of applause. They've been working very, very hard. We appreciate you all. High five. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, <good> show. <laughs> we hope to see you all there freedom crew university.com and we'll see you on the next slide thank you everybody good night yes. night everyone peace